Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing another spell for you guys. Uh, this spell is for a client. As you guys can see here, we have um, a candle holder that we've been using for a seven day uh, ritual that uh, we just concluded for them. And we are now uh, in the finishing stage of the spell work. Now, this spell is for those of you guys that are trying to draw in love not just one, but to have a variety to choose from. <laughs> this is not to draw in a specific individual. However, are you able to do that? Absolutely. But we are doing this to draw in love in general. It's not for a specific target. This is just to make you desirable. This is to make you um, have the upper hand especially for those of you guys out there that have a tendency of overgiving when it comes to love and romance, um, have a tendency of just doing too much in relationships. This is always, Doing this is going to definitely give you the upper hand always in this situation, okay? And like I said, it is to draw in love. It is to draw in new suitors. Uh, you can do this if you're male. You can do this instead of using a female candle. You would use a male candle uh, for females, obviously, we are using here a uh, candle in the, as you guys can see here, um, trying not to go so graphic, just so I don't get uh, this video. <laughs> okay, anyways, so this is a little bit more elaborate, um, meaning with ingredients. You know that I try to make these spells very simplistic for you guys. But this is a process. It, it, it has a lot of ingredients, okay? So it's a little bit more elaborate than the simple ones. However, I will be um, I will be uploading another video that is to draw in love that is much more simplistic and anyone can do it, okay? Keep in mind that whenever you're doing spell work, like I always tell you, make sure to meditate, to ground yourself before doing any type of work. You do not want to go into... Uh, any type of spell work really uh, feeling any type of way other than feeling blessed and thankful regardless of circumstance and situation why because when we do that keep in mind that you are bringing your energy into this work obviously if we're desperate uh, to find love etc then perhaps it's not a good day you can you know promise yourself that for the next coming three days you're going to be positive optimistic about love constantly reminding yourself um, beautiful things about love instead of thinking the negative so that it can prepare you or raise your vibration when doing this work, okay? All right. So what we're going to need is a candle in the female organ. We're also, d disregard this right here. I'm only using this, like I said, because I've been working with this client um, and they just wanted to amp it. They just wanted to strengthen it. So that's why we're doing this. But I'm using this because it is carrying the energy of the work that has already been done. So disregard this. You will not be needing this. Okay. So you're going to be needing a candle in your whatever, whether you're female or male, that's the one you're going to be using. Okay. You're going to also be using some parchment paper, as you guys know. Um, and that's going to be for your petition. You're going to need two uh, roses. You can use fresh. You can use... Uh, dry ones, you guys know I prefer to use dry herbs, so that's what I'm using. You're also going to be needing some type of um, love cologne, some type, whatever it is that you're trying to draw into your life. What do I mean by that? Well, this partner prefers people or masculine energy that is dominant, protective, but they want to learn to have the upper hand. So we're going to be using Amansa Wapo cologne. Like I said, you can use any type of cologne depending on what it is exactly that you're wanting. If it is just love that you're trying to draw in, then it would be a love cologne. If you're trying to draw in a more intense, passionate connection or suitors, partners that go hard for you, that are definitely going to put the effort, then you would use something like a mansa wapo, um, some type of controlling oil as well for your candle so that you can have the upper hand some adam and eve some love type of oil and we're also going to be using you guys know that i use my personal oils so i'm going to be using some hibiscus oil obviously we're doing this for a female client so this is just going to empower her it's going to make 
the energy around her, people that come towards her are going to feel very drawn to her, very attracted to her. Have you guys ever experienced being around an individual and you can't put your finger on it, but they're just so incredibly attractive. Even if they're not physically that great, there's just something about them and it's the energy that they're emanating. So that's exactly what we're wanting to bring to her. Now you're also going to be needing some red sugar, any type of sugar. We're going to be using this sugar. I'm also going to be using some molasses. Um, if you don't have molasses, you can just use regular honey. That is absolutely okay. However, I do like to integrate molasses with honey because it does give it a more stronger, prominent um, effect and very quick effect and they stick, meaning it's not something that is going to be passing or temporary, okay? All right, so we're also gonna be using some cinnamon powder here uh, to amplify, to strengthen, to empower, obviously desire, loves, lust, sorry. And we're also gonna be using some cinnamon sticks here. Um, so when the spell work is done, when she discard, or when I discard this for her, I will be sending her a pea, or the two pieces of cinnamon that I'm going to be using that is going to be able to, she's going to be able to use as a magnet. So you can keep this, uh, the cinnamon sticks, once the work is done, you can keep the cinnamon sticks in your bedroom, under your bed, under your mattress, or even in your, um, I'm not sure what you say it in English, it's cabecera, which where, right by you, where you sleep. Um, etc. You can just hang it in your room and this is going to be obviously around you. It's going to be activated and that's exactly what we want. Okay. Once we're done with that or once we're done now with those ingredients, now we're also going to be using some Amansa Wapo. So we're using the cologne and we're using the herb as well. And we're going to be using some lavender to create a very alluring, very feminine, um, uh, you know, so, so men can perceive her as docile, so they can perceive her as pure. Um, but of course, like I said, with the Amanta Wapo and the hibiscus oil, it's, comes, it's almost like using Jezebel oil. Of course, you can use Jezebel oil if you prefer, but we're using hibiscus with the mixture of Amanta Wapo, which is going to give you the upper hand, like I said, make you much more luring, much more... Um, give the impression that you are very, they just can't describe the energy like you are intense and passionate and that's what they're looking for or that's what they're going to be drawn to. But at the same time, to in their eyes, they're seeing you as pure, you know. So again, um, and the reason why we're doing this is because she is looking for something serious. She's not looking for something temporary. However, if you are, you can just you can just use Jezebel oil, hibiscus oil. You would need the lavender. Okay, lavender is almost too. Um, I don't like to make it seem like we are deceiving them, but their impression of us will always become a mystery because they won't be able to put the finger on you. You know what I mean? So, anyways, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Okay. All right. So as you guys can see here, we've and, and you do not need a glove, you guys. I only use gloves when I'm using personal items, personal hair, fluids, et cetera, of the client. Um, obviously, I already prepared this, um, but what you're going to be using or what you're going to be needing from yourself is going to be personal hair. It could be your hair from your head. It could be pubical hair if you are a male. Uh, whatever it is, you can use that type of hair. You're also going to be needing some type of uh, clothing of yours, preferably in underwear and only the, uh, you know, what covers your, what covers your cooch <laughs> and for the men, uh, your crotch area. Okay. All right. So that's what we have here. We already prepared, um, the parchment paper as well as the candle. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to be inscribing exactly what it is. We have the information in the bottom, but we're going to be inscribing exactly what it is that we want. But let's start off here with the parchment paper. So you're going to get a black marker. And what we're going to do is you're going to put your first name and last name. 
you're going to put your date of birth but do not put it in separation meaning as an example let's say april you're going to put 04 12 uh, 1977 as an example and there is no separation of the date okay so you're going to put your first name last name and your date of birth april which would be 04 12 1977 all right, so once that is done, what you're gonna do now is you're gonna turn it to the right and you're gonna write down your petition. So you're gonna turn it to your right and you're gonna write down the petition that you're asking for. So in the petition, you would put as an example, I, Pinky Pink Star, uh, call upon the spirits of love uh, to bring me or to loan me their beauty, their passion, um, their um, whatever it is that you're wanting to amplify from you. As an example, if you're shy, um, I want to or I, I welcome in my boldness, um, my straightforwardness, whatever it is that you feel you can work on, that's what you're or what you would desire to uh, potentially have. As an example, um, I am extremely confident. I am passionate. I am intense. Um, I am drawing in partners that are uh, whatever it is that you're trying to bring towards you. Okay, that's exactly what we're going to be putting in the petition. Try to make it as short as possible. So make your take your time when doing the petition. Once that is done, what you're going to do at the bottom of the petition, you're going to sign like this. All right, so why do we sign? Well, you're asking for something, right? <laughs> Let's not get heavy into that. If you're interested in knowing why sometimes in certain spells we have to sign, go ahead and comment below and I will let you guys know. I will make a video specifically on that. Anyways, let's move on. So once that is done, what you're going to do now is you're going to put some of your hair. Give me one second, let me try to. Okay, hope you guys can see better there. All right, so what we're going to do now is basically um, you're going to put some of your hair on the petition, or sorry, on the parchment paper, and you're going to put the item of clothing, meaning your crotch area, underwear, or boxers, whatever it is that you're using. Once you put that, what you're going to do is you're going to add some of the, some drops of the Amansa Wapo if you're using Love cologne or anything like that that's where you would put this you would rub on it like this okay then we're going to get some of the cinnamon oh put too much there okay we're going to put some of the cinnamon here and keep in mind um sorry i forgot to tell you guys you're also going to be needing a picture of yourself it must be a recent picture no older than three weeks and on the picture you must put uh, on back of the picture sorry you must put your first name last name and date of birth the way we put it in the parchment paper no separation um, within the within the picture you're going to write down certain things that you want to con that you want to either uh, have attain or amplify as an example around your head around your shoulders you can put confident you can put um uh you know power uh strong um open-minded uh i don't know what if you're shy um you know very extrovert that type of energy uh that type of uh, basically what you're doing is with the picture you are drawing in the power that you want to possess even if you don't have that. So it can amplify that and bring that sight to you out. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay. So anyways, we're going to put the picture. We're going to put our, you know, pieces of hair. We're going to put our clothing, whatever it is that you choose. It must have your personal fluids. Um, and like I said, for a man, you can use the crotch area of your boxers. For women, it could be uh, the front, you know, the crotch area, basically. 
So you're going to put that on here, then you're going to fold it towards you. You're going to fold it towards you, and it's going to look something like this right here. Okay, let me put this to the side. This smells amazing, you guys. All right, so once that is done, what we're going to do now is we're going to, like I said, the candle in the bottom has the information of the client, but we're going to uh, inscribe on here what we're wanting to do or what we're trying to draw in, okay? So you can put... You can put passion, desire. So you can write down basically it, exactly what it is that you want. If all you want is to have fun, that you're gonna put um, uh, many choices or many options, uh, men chase me or pursue me, uh, if you're a male, you would write down women chase me, they pursue me, they find me attractive, they find me desirable. Um, I'm probably going to skip this part. All right, my lovelies, once we have that ready, once we've inscribed exactly what it is that we want, now what we're going to do is we're going to add some of the cologne here, some of the Amansa Wapo cologne, and we're going to rub on it. Really put your intentions, your desires into this candle. All right, once that is done, <clears throat> let me start putting some of the oils here. Make sure to put some of the controlling oil as well. Um, if you're trying to have, like I said, the upper hand in matters of the heart, or with your with your uh, with your suitors, make sure that you are using some of the controlling oil. Okay, you guys, so once we've done the oils, once we have everything ready to go and you've inscribed and you have uh, basically got to the needy greeting, now what we're going to do is we're going to be adding some of the, and I should have put the other glove on so I wouldn't have one full of oil. <laughs> Give me one second, you guys. I'm not trying to... Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add some of the cinnamon. Do not be stingy with it. We're also going to be adding some of the red salt here. Not salt, sorry, red sugar. Okay, and we're going to be adding some of the... hibiscus oil we're going to be rubbing it so okay let me put that there
if you guys do this and you really take your time when doing this, I guarantee you guys, you guys are going to be amazed at the results that you get, without a doubt. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get some of the brown sugar. Not sure if I told you guys you needed that, but if I didn't, that is what we're going to be needing. Okay, so you're really going to be rubbing it into the candle. Like I said, take your time when doing this, you guys. It is messy, so just be ready because it does get extremely messy. Take your time. Don't rush when doing this type of work, you guys. Like I said, if you take your time, you focus, and really put all your effort and energy into it, I guarantee you guys, you guys are going to be amazed at the results that you get without a doubt. Okay. All right, and finally, what we're going to do is we're going to get some of the lavender here. I am really making a mess, you guys. Okay, so once we're done with that, you're going to start putting the rose petals around your work and the reason why we do this is because when the candle is uh melting if the the uh sorry the wax melts and what happens is that everything is melted and brought together with the wax so once your working is done you can uh pick up the work very easily because everything is connected to the wax and that is exactly what we want. So that's the reason why. Now in this process, when putting the rose petals around the candle and around the working, you can really empower it by taking your time with each petal and asking for attributes that you're looking for when we're talking about suitors. Okay, if you have a specific type, if you have or looking for a specific uh partner you know certain characteristics or qualities that you're looking for someone that is stable someone that is uh you know stable in their career someone that is motivated someone that is passionate or vice versa someone that is more gentle uh, someone that is more in tune or emotionally connected to their emotions and they are more sensitive etc you basically can ask for whatever it is that you're looking for in a partner okay all right so you can see here we have the small bud and what i do is i like to really rub the oils and the sugar in the rose the last rose bud and the reason for this is because once the candle has melted, once all of this is done, I will tell you how to discard of it, but I like to keep this rose, um, this small rose bud, and I like to offer it to my rose bush. And that's what I do for all my clients. Um, and it's almost ingratitude to the spirits of love for assisting in this process, for empowering and giving my clients quick and fast lightning results. So again, you can use this as a token of an offering to the spirits, depending on the spirits that you're working with or deities that you're working with, okay? All right, so this all smells so amazing. Once we're done with that, I'm going to be adding some of the molasses here. And I'm also going to be adding so what I like to do is you can use two pieces of cinnamon. Okay. All 
All right, my lovely, so as you guys can see here, I was trying to use this one um, and just cut it in half. It was not wanting to break, so I'm going to take it as we need double power. So I'm gonna be using these two sticks, as you guys can see. I've already anointed them with oils and with the sugar and the cinnamons. Um, so the cinnamon powder, sorry. Um, so what I do is I like to put um, one on one side representing the left, the female energy, and representing the right. That's where it. I place it, right, representing masculine energy. If you're doing this for the same sex, meaning, yes, you can do this for same sex, you would put both of them on the right or left side, depending on what you are, okay? All right, so there's no confusion there. <laughs> okay, so what we're doing now is basically we're going to be adding some of the molasses to make it stick, to make it sticky, sticky icky. And we're going to do this um, in the candle. And I like to pour some over the cinnamon and rose petals. Okay. Let me cover this really quick. All right, so once that is done, we are pretty much set to go. So let me put this to the side. So it's gonna look something like this. And what we're gonna do now is, let me take these gloves off now. And like I said, you guys don't need gloves. I use the gloves because I am touching my clients personal things however it is a messy job so you may prefer to use gloves just so you don't get all dirty all right so once that is done let me cover this really quick you guys all right so it's gonna look something like this once this is done what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, prepare it and what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your hands over it in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I bless and consecrate this work that is about to commence. I activate and empower this candle for my client. And what you're going to say is, I call upon my spirit guides, my loving and spirit guides, spirits of love and light. Please step forward to empower this work that is about to commence. I ask you to intervene for me, to step in and to help empower this work, to bring into me opportunities in regards to love and romance, to give me options to choose from, to open the pathways and remove any blockages that I may be experiencing in the present, past or future. Allow me to be able to attract like the bees to the honey, okay? Once that is done, you're going to, um, so here is something that is on a personal note. Once this spell work is done, obviously I'm doing this for a client, so once this is done, what I do is I spit on the candle. Now, because this is obviously not for me, it's going to be for a client, I already have, I already have their spit. So what I'm saying is, before I actually did the spell, or, or before I even prepared the candle, I had the client um, spit in the candle so that I can be able to rub it, let it dry, and then I was able to use it today um, to prepare the rest of it. So obviously, if you're doing this for yourself, before you light the candle, my advice would be to spit on it, and the reason for it is because you're empowering, you're activating it. So once that is done, you're going to burn the candle. If by any chance this is a seven day candle throughout those seven days it, if it should finish sooner than that then take it as a positive it means there are no blockages it means that spirits have blessed you and you should start to see results within that process if by any chance you need to step away or be away from the working make sure to stuff out the candle but absolutely never blow out the candle why because you're basically blowing all the work and effort that you put into it so you don't want to do that um, so you snuff it out the next day you're going to do the same thing you will uh, chant or 
uh, you can even say out loud before lighting the candle, the partner I seek is also seeking me. I now remove any blockages keeping us or, or coming between us. Uh, once that is done, you're going to light the candle. Or if you're doing this because you just want to have options, uh, you can say, you know, a uh, crimson candle bright with fire, bring to me that which I desire. And then you're going to say, you know, whether it's male or females that you're trying to attract. Okay, so once that is done, uh, basically you're ready to go. You're going to light this candle. Make sure to do this type of spell work either in waxing moon or full moon, okay? You can also do this in the new moon. Um, I prefer to do it waxing or full moon. It gives you greater, stronger, faster results. Like I said, if you do this with trust and faith, you are going to be blown away. You're going to be amazed at how many opportunities start to happen uh, rather quickly. So once the working is done, once the candle has melted and the wax uh, has been, uh, it, it's hardened, uh, you're going to notice that it hardens throughout the rose petals and the cinnamon. So what you can do is you can fold it, right, with the petition. You can fold it and put it in a sacket bag or put it in a satin cloth, preferably red, um, and you can keep it. You could keep it as safekeeping, or you can put it under your bed uh, if you're concerned. Like as an example, if you live in a place where it's extremely hot and you're concerned that ants may uh, get in the mattress or something like that, then you can always offer this to um, the element of earth. Meaning, you can bury this by a tree bury it by rose bushes or you can if you live in an apartment or something like that you can get yourself a plant and mm, you rise it and put this at the bottom of it and then put the plant on it and basically take care of the plant the way you take care of the plant that's as much as growth and uh, suitors you will start to attain and you're able to maintain that if by any chance you happen to meet a person and it becomes something long term you're no longer trying to uh, continue attracting. Uh, you can always undo it. And the way we would undo it is, again, if you know exactly where you're burying it or disposing of it, you can just pick it up, um, undo it, remove the cinnamon sticks, break the wax, etc. If you don't or can get to uh, the undoing, uh, keep in mind this is a spell and spells do run their course. So I would say about this should give you about six to seven months results if you start to see it weather or become a bit weaker you can always recast this i don't encourage you to recast it every three months if anything twice a year which would be every six months okay all right my lovelies i hope you guys enjoyed this spell let me know your experience and how blown you are uh, from the results I hope you guys enjoy, like, share, and comment, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.